All right, so I've filmed this video like 50 times and I keep forgetting to tell you what number I'm up to in, in, the, in the list. So I'll just number everything in the description. I'm just not filming this thing again. I don't want to spend the rest of my life filming this one video. Another thing I want to mention is I don't like the obvious stuff. I don't really put in this video like a, an inflatable sleeping pad. Like that's something that is definitely worth having if you're going to be sleeping on ice cold ground or concrete or anything rough. I sleep on plywood and like those inflatable sleeping pads are worth having for sure. I don't, you know, I, I don't mention the obvious stuff, a knife, a fire starter, sleeping pad. I just mention stuff that is not so obvious. So um, I guess we'll just get right to it. So, <clears throat> first thing I want to mention is these miniature par these miniature bungee cords. Um, there's just a million uses for them. If you gotta tie things up, if you gotta carry a bunch of gear, you you can use them to tie your stuff to your backpack. I mean, yeah, paracord will work too, but this is way quicker and way easier. You can just hook it and wrap it around. It's just a really really useful thing to have. Um, get my list another thing is these binder clips these things um, I use them to hold food bags closed I use them to hang stuff up like here's an example um, my light is just a headlamp that is binder clipped into a bungee cord up there so you know, that's how my light holds up. So I can just unclip it and use it as a headlamp or a flashlight or whatever. Um, another thing is tape. Um, you can see that I'm a huge fan of tape because I make things out of tape all the time. I, I once had a wallet that was made out of tape that I carried it for years. And it, you know, I was getting wet. I was outside in all kinds of weather and the thing held up for years and then it started coming apart a little bit but it, it could easily be fixed with more tape so that's just one example I'll show you another one right now so this this is a knife sheath that I made out of tape I made this out of tape wire and um, and construction paper so it's just a steak knife that I bought, um, which I use mostly just for eating, but it looks really cool and it's handy for a lot of things. But so now you can see it's, I made it with wire, tape, and construction paper, and it holds the knife. And um, I can clip it on my belt, it can hang upside down, it's got two clips. Um, if if you want me to make a video on how to make that then let me know in, in the comments and I will show you how I did that it's not hard anybody can do it um, another thing is plastic bags they just you know it's it's something that you're not going to be able to reproduce um, it is just if you got to make something waterproof real quick you can wrap it up in one of these bags it's going to keep it dry if you got to carry stuff um i never throw those out i use them as garbage bags i use them to waterproof things i use them to hold food um just another handy thing that you're not going to be able to reproduce but if you got them they're very useful um now velcro is another thing you know here's like regular velcro just to stick stuff up but this is what i'm talking about this is this stuff is really useful it's like this two-sided velcro stuff that you just cut it down and make straps out of it you know what i'm saying so see how that works now you would just cut a piece of this and you could wrap it around your sleeping bag and tie it onto your backpack or i'll give you an example like I, I don't want my curtains just flapping around all day when I'm driving so I took a piece of that stuff and it just ties my curtain up and holds my curtain closed so that's another really useful thing um, now a poncho liner that's this 
get it at any army surplus store i'll link one in the description i found a cool one on amazon that's actually like it's the new multi-cam and like it's pretty badass dude i can't i almost wish i had it but i'm pretty attached to this thing because i've lived outside for years with this and a 50 degree sleeping bag and for how light it is and for how small it folds up it's one of the best things you'll ever own if you're going to be living like outdoors and stuff it's just such a useful awesome thing i can't say enough about it i love it it's my favorite blanket like if i'm staying in a hotel or something i use this i put my sleeping bag down on the bed and this is my blanket is my poncho liner so it's just one of my favorite things i've ever owned honestly another thing is one of my favorites is this it's a military poncho um so this this is like a shelter it's a poncho if you gotta drape it over something and make it you know block block it from getting wet um one of the most i use this as my shelter for years on the street you can see that the laces are coming apart in some spots but that's another thing that's so great about it it's got these grommets and it comes with like army shoelaces on it so you can tie it up anywhere and like basically it's a tarp it's a poncho it's a ground cover if you got wet ground it's just such a useful thing and look how small it, it rolls up it, it's got a little weight to it but it's waterproof and it's just one of the best things ever like this was one of my best friends when i was living on the street like that was my shelter dude so uh another thing is the swagman roll which i went over it in another video i should probably do do just a dedicated video to the swagman roll because it's such an awesome thing but this basically it's just an advanced poncho liner basically it's it's a military poncho that's made of fabric it's got some like climb a shield stuffing in it so it zips up to be a sleeping bag so you can use it as a sleeping bag down to like 50 degrees which i do all the time and i absolutely love the thing i never really use it as a poncho the truth is i'm so used to being out in the weather that i'll just get wet dude i, I don't even care about <clears throat> like getting wet anymore unless it's really cold out then i don't want to get wet but in florida I don't care about getting wet. Um, another thing that's really useful that people don't really think about is external hard drives. So, you know, if everything goes to shit and the internet goes out, you're going to need entertainment. So, these, I, it's, um, this is a Samsung T5 SSD. I, I had this thing out on the street in New York and you know and i w i was out in the weather i'm talking down to negative temperatures rain snow everything this thing never had a hiccup dude always worked totally fine um now i've got this is a t7 it's kind of a newer version of it it's a little faster but it doesn't matter so this one i have movies and video games and this one i have tv shows and books so I don't even I don't even care about the internet. The internet could go out and I this is these are each 1 terabyte. I've got enough here to keep me entertained for the rest of my life. I've got over a thousand movies on this one, pretty much every good movie ever made. And this one's almost full of just awesome shows like <clears throat> animal documentaries, like the old school Looney Tunes cartoons, like um just a bunch of stuff dude and i'm talking thousands of books so like and i'm i'm kind of into reading so i don't really you know i i don't watch that much tv shows and stuff but i've got them they're there for in case i ever do feel like watching them so all right so this this is the wireless charger that i was talking about it's made by anchor I think it was like 20 bucks or something i'll link it in the description don't quote me on the price you'll be able to look it up it just plugs into a usb port and then you put your phone on it and it charges so this will when you when your usb c port is wet you'll still be able to charge your phone if you got this and it charges it pretty quick i mean it's a it's it's a thing worth having for sure i i don't regret buying it i've used it the summer is so humid down here that my phone won't even charge off the usb because there's too much moisture in the air and in the ports and stuff so 
I use the wireless charger a lot and without that I wouldn't even be able to charge my phone. Um, another thing that is extremely useful is this little car jumper that my buddy gave me. This thing. It's also, you can charge your phone on it. Um, I have jumped cars with this thing. Isn't that amazing? Look how small this is and it jumps a car. And I've jumped my car a few times with it. I can't even, I can't believe it works, but it does. Um, these are the jumper cords that attach to it. One guy, I was trying to help him jump his car, but his car, the issue wasn't, it wasn't the battery. There was other issues. We got the battery charged up, but it's like, there was something else wrong with his car, but that thing is so useful, dude. I absolutely, I love that thing, dude. My friend just gave it to me. Um, okay, so another thing is like hand tools. So I've got some power tools because I have that power station and the solar panel on my roof so I can charge up my tools. But um, if you if you don't have that, you're gonna need hand tools. Like you're gonna need a saw, um, I've got a bunch of saws, dude, because I'm into carpentry, but you're gonna need a hammer. I mean, there's just, you can use a rock or whatever, but dude, if you got a hammer, it's so much better. Like, you know, an axe, hatchet, like pliers, that's one thing you are not gonna be able to reproduce is pliers, and trust me, I've tried. Like, <clears throat> there's just no substitute for pliers, you know? Um, another thing is tweezers, they come in handy. But my favorite pliers are these vice grip Irwin pliers. Now, this is the little miniature one. I've got a whole bunch of other ones. I love these Irwin vice grip clamping pliers because it's like having an extra set of hands. I mean, it'll hold stuff that, you know, when you need both your hands and you're working on something, this will hold it for you. Um, they make all kinds of clamps, which I love too. But I'm heavy on the tools because I used to do construction. I'm really good with building things and like, you know, so that's that's me. But if you're not into that type of stuff, I suggest you still get certain basic tools that maybe I should do a video about it. Like things that are hard to reproduce, like a saw, an ax, um, you know, like a speed square, like, there's just, there's a bunch, of, and you know, here's one thing that you can make in the wild is a level, but, um, you know, if, like, our ancestors, the way they would do it, I'll switch, so, our ancestors, the way they would make a level is they would take a bowl and make it, like, perfectly flat on top, and then they would measure down, you know, two inches or whatever and draw a line, so... Once they had that line drawn in the bowl, they would put water in the bowl up to the line and then put it on a surface. And if the water line matched up with the line that they drew, they knew it was level. And then the way they would get things level, if it was vertical, is they would use a plumb bob, which is just a pointed weight at the bottom of a string. It's always going to point directly down. The string is always going to be perfectly straight because of gravity. So... You know, you can you can you can make your own leveling tools, but just having a level is a lot easier. And and it's important if you're making things to keep them level and square because, you know, if things aren't level and square in the beginning, it's just going to be harder to work on it in the future. When it's like, it's just easy, keep things level and square, and everything will go a lot smoother. Um, so <clears throat> let's see what else. Oh, these microfiber towels. These things fold down really small. I mean, and it's like a full-size towel, but it'll fold down to way smaller than a regular towel. Um, just another really useful thing. When I was living on the street, I had to carry like a regular towel, which took up a lot of space, you know? So I wish I had the microfiber towels back then. They're just super useful. Um, so another thing is salt pepper and spices like if you're going to be hunting your own food and shit or you're going to be eating the same drab shit every day then you're going to want to spice it up a little bit um just in a, a, something that comes in handy um you know i didn't even fucking go i, I didn't even number these as i went through them i guess i'll number them in the description another thing is thumbtacks uh like i used a thumbtack 
right there just to hold this cord up to you know make a little blocker to keep my stuff in there so you know thumbtacks just come in handy you got to tack something up like if you got to hang something up or if you're building something and you need to just hold stuff together like it's just it those are handy to have and it, it's something that you're not going to be able to reproduce another thing is twist ties so i keep i just keep extra ones up here you know they just come in handy to hold stuff together um Another thing that's useful about them is you can shave the plastic off it and then you've got a precision little wire to tie stuff up. And that's, I forgot to mention how important wire is. That's another thing on the list. Like wire, dude, like just such a useful thing for if you got to make snares or whatever. But other, I, there's just a million uses for it and it's something that you're not going to be able to reproduce. It's just, you will find uses for the wire. I guarantee it. I've got fucking like rolls and rolls of wire i can never have enough wire like different gauges i make i've made screens like screen frames out of the wire and like just a million things you can do with it and you're gonna want to have it around so another thing is these little moisture absorbers that whenever i get food and there's one of these in it i don't throw it out i take it out and i drop it in my car because <clears throat> the less moisture is in here the better i don't want moisture in my vehicle i want it all soaked up so i have those things just scattered all throughout my vehicle from every time i come across one i keep it and i throw it in my truck somewhere um what else so another thing that comes in handy is toothpicks but you, you can kind of easily reproduce those but like an example is my sword my wooden samurai sword that i made what's holding that handle together is toothpicks i just use them as kind of pegs you know what i mean although a real samurai sword only uses one pin but i used a couple on that because it's i wanted everything to be held together really really tight it's i'm not going to be taking it apart like a real samurai sword like it it's just a different situation um so that's about it, I guess, for now. For um, You know, I'll probably make another one of these videos in the future. There's a bunch of other stuff that is often overlooked that is, is very useful stuff to have around. I just um, I didn't want to make the video too long. Um, I'll number everything in the description. I, I, for, I, I filmed it multiple, time, multiple times, and I kept forgetting to say what number I was on. Like, I'm new to all this shit, like YouTube and shit, so... But the information is there. Like, don't worry about the format. The information is what matters. This stuff is, this stuff is good to know. And uh, you know, it took me many years of drudgery and suffering and and doing things the hard way before I learned all this stuff about, you know, what what's worth carrying and what isn't. Because when you're carrying everything you own, every single little thing matters. Like I'm talking about. I got to a point where I couldn't even, if I couldn't, if you handed me a golf ball and told me to put it in my bag, I, I, it wouldn't have worked because I was, I was carrying everything I needed. The weight was more, more than I, I wanted to be carrying, but I had, you know, useful stuff on me that I, I wasn't willing to lose it. And the weight, you get used to it. You'll get, carrying more weight just makes you stronger. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and trust me, when you're carrying everything you own, you'll learn real quick what how much weight you're willing to carry and what you're willing to carry. You'll be ditching things that, you know, you didn't think you'd be ditching. But it, there, were, there was times where, you know, I, I'd be waking up, it's fucking 25 degrees outside, and I just don't feel like drudging, you know, all this shit. So I'm, I, I get to thinking real quick, like, do I really need this? And sometimes the answer was no. And I'd leave it right fucking there for whoever came by to grab it. You know what I mean? So you learn real quick what what you're willing to carry and what's really important when you're living like that. So, you know, yeah, always start off heavy. Take everything that you can fucking manage to carry. And as time goes on, it's going to slim down. I guarantee you that. And you're going to pick up new stuff on the way and you're going to you're gonna have to be weighing out your options on what what's worth carrying and what isn't so anyways i guess i'll see y'all on the next one um later